Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now in this video what I'll be doing is showing you how to set up a RAID configuration in Linux using the MDADM software. Um, so whether you're setting up a RAID, a RAID 0, 1, 5, whatever, the process is pretty much exactly the same uh, by you know, um, changing a few numbers here and there. So in this example, what I'll be doing is set up a RAID 5 configuration as this is something I'll be doing myself with uh, one of my computers in the near future. So the first thing we need to do is go open up a terminal window. But of course, before you start, we need to make sure the uh, MDADM software is installed. So uh, first thing you do is type, first thing you do is type sudo apt get install. MDADM, enter, enter your password. So, in, as you can see, in this case, I've already got it installed. So, with that done. So, what we need to do next is identify the component devices, uh, identify the drives which you'll be using in your RAID configuration. So, we type in this command. So, so we type lsbl k space hyphen zero space and all capital letters no spaces name comma size comma fs type comma type comma out point enter so you can see here that I've <clears throat> in this virtual machine I've set up three 10 gigabytes virtual drives which I'll use in the RAID configuration so the next thing to do is create the array using MDADM. So we type sudo. So we type sudo MDADM hyphen hyphen create space hyphen hyphen verbose space and then this is where the red, this is how the red drive will be displayed forward slash dev, forward slash md0, space, hyphen, hyphen. This is the grade level we'll be using. So at grade level, in this case, grade level equals five. How many RAID devices we'll be using? So hyphen, hyphen, RAID, hyphen, devices. In this case, three, space, and then we, and then we identify all the drives that we'll be using. So in this case, forward slash dev, forward slash, Dev SDC and Dev SDD. Enter. It might take some time to do this, but obviously, with being so small and obviously being virtual um, in real estate, but you can monitor the progress of the mirroring by checking this file. So, type cat space forward slash croc forward slash md stat enter so there that it's pretty much done so now we need to create a mount to the file system so we type sudo mkfs.ext4 space hyphen capital F space forward slash dev forward slash md0 press enter that done. Now we need to create a mount point to attach the new file system. sudo dir dir space hyphen little p space forward slash mnt forward slash m0. Enter. And you can mount the file system by typing sudo mount forward slash dev forward slash m0 space and forward slash mnt forward slash m0. As a direction which that RAID configuration will be mounted into. We can check the new, whether the new space is available by typing df space hyphen h space hyphen x space dev tmpfs space hyphen x space tmpfs. Enter. So you can see there, size so 20 gigs, so, it's, so you can, so in a RAID 5 configuration only. 
the space from two drives will be available while the third one is used as the as a backup, shall we say. So you can see there, the available amounts will be 19 gigabytes. And now we need to save the array layout, is just to ensure that every time the computer is booted up, that that drive is going to be available. So before we adjust the configuration, you need to check again to make sure the array has finished assembling because of the way that MDADM builds these RAID arrays. If the array is still building, the number of spares in the array will be you know, accurately reported. So we'll type cat space forward slash proc forward slash MD stat, enter. So there, all is good. So now we can automatically scan the active array and append the file by typing sudo mdadm space hyphen hyphen detail space hyphen hyphen scan and I don't remember what this symbol is called um, but we need to put them in then sudo team hyphen a forward slash etc forward slash mdadm forward slash mdadm dot com And now we need to update the init RAM FS or initial RAM file system so that your array will be available during the early boot process. So we type sudo update hyphen init RAM FS space hyphen u. And this will take a few moments to uh, update. It's done. Now we need to add the new file system mount options to the etc fstab file for automatic mount mounting at boot. So we type echo space and then do apostrophe forward slash dv forward slash md0 space forward slash mnt forward slash md0 space ext4 space and then no space in this section defaults comma no fail comma Discard space zero space zero apostrophe let's break line sudo t hyphen a forward slash etc forward slash f stamp so your raid five array in this the raid five array in this case will should now be automatically be assembled and mounted each boot so what we'll do is reboot so so now we're back in, you can either check by going into the computer, into the file system, we've got the MNT folder there, MD0, and that's where our RAID drive is. Alternatively, go into the terminal, and we type in this command again, df h x dev tmpfs x tmpfs there it is <clears throat> so it's all good to go so of course what you want to do next is set up a file share in this um, RAID configuration so with that we use Samba so you need to make sure that Samba is installed so we type sudo apps get install Samba so I mean it is already installed we need to make a directory where we're going to share. So in my case, we're going to go Steve. So we've got sudo, so we've got sudo mkdir. So we need to type in the address of where the location of where that file is going to be going to be. So we do forward slash mnt forward slash md zero forward slash call it whatever you want. It might get I'll just call it Steve. Enter. We need to create a user to access that. Do sudo smd password hyphen a then whatever the name of the user so we can just call it Steve in this example. We need to create a password. Now we need to edit the smb.conf file, so we need to make a safe backup copy just in case we muck things up. <clears throat> so we do sudo cp forward slash etc forward slash samba 
forward slash smd.conf. Make sure it's that, otherwise it won't work. So let's now make a copy. Now I need to edit the files on sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash samba forward slash smd.conf. Let's go right down to the bottom of this. So I've already done this before, so basically you just need to in, in square brackets the name of the share file, the path of where that share file is located, which users you want to access that folder, and read only no other able to actually use the folder. So you press Ctrl X, save modified button buffer, so you press Y for yes, press enter. Need to restart Samba by prototype sudo service smbd restart. And once Samba is restarted, you can use this command to check your smb.com for any syntax errors. You type test palm, enter, enter again, and that's in there at the right bottom. So, to access the network share, we need to know the IP address. So, we type IP config, so we need IF config, IP config for Windows. So the IP address of this virtual machine is 192.168.0.9. So we'll go into Windows, click Mac Net Network Drive, choose what drive letter you want to use for it. So we'll type in backslash backslash 192.168.0.9.4. Slash name of the folder, it's Steve. Reconnect to sign in, connect to your credentials, click finish. You type in the credentials that you set up at the terminal. Remember my credentials if you wish, click OK. And now we've got the window here. So we can test this out by creating a new folder. <coughs> So what I've forgotten to do here is actually change permissions of that of said folder. So what we need to do now is change the permissions of the folder. So we're going to type in the command sudo ch on hyphen capital R name of whoever you want to access the folder. So I guess Steve, and then where that folder is located. So we type in forward slash mnt forward slash m zero forward slash Again. There we go. So that's now that's now side. And then let's see here. We'll go into the file system, MNT folder, and these zero. And there we go. Then there's my folder. And then there's a new folder which is created in Windows. So if you want to remove this RAID configuration, what we need to do. So if you're going to do this at a later date, you need to type it in cat forward slash proc forward slash mp stat. So we've got active RAID 5 configuration with SDP, SDC and SDD. So we need to unmount the file system. So sudo u mount forward slash dev forward slash mp0. So it says it's busy, what we need to do is uh, reboot the system. So now we're back. Turn the Linux terminal again. Press the up key a couple of times. Go back to the command you just tried using. Press Enter. It is the password. And that's now unmounted the RAID drive. And stop to remove the array by typing sudo mda again. Hyphen hyphen stop or slash slash zero, enter, that's not stopped, then we type sudo npm, I can type in remove, for slash dev, for slash zero, but obviously that doesn't exist anymore. Now we need to find the device that we used to build the array with the following command, but you need to keep in mind that the slash dev slash sd 
names can change at any time you reboot and you need to check them every time to make sure you're operating on the correct device. The last thing you want to do is unmount a drive that isn't part of the RAID and causes issues for you. So we type in this command that we lsblk space hyphen zero then in capital letters name comma size comma f s comma type comma now point enter there we go the, the linux raid members here those three there now we need to zero their super block to reset them to normal. So we do this for all three drives. Hyphen zero, hyphen super block. And then the drives we're going to reset. B, we just press up. Do the last letter. Order, but it really matters. They're all done. They're all the ones. And you should remove any of the persistent references to the array. So edit the etc fstab file and comment out or remove the reference to your array. So we do sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash fstab. Enter. Then we need to do this thing here. Control X. That's Y. Enter, and we also come out or out or remove the array definition from the mdadn.com file. So we do sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash mdadn forward slash mdadn.com. Enter. Delete. It's here. Ctrl X, press Y, Enter, done. And we need to update the init RAM FS again. So we type sudo update a hyphen init RAM FS space hyphen U, Enter. Let it do its thing. And there we go, that's now reset back to normal, so that's all there is to it. So that is how you create a RAID configuration in Linux and then remove it again. Um, if you liked this video, uh, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. I also uh, tinker around with old computers and do some benchmarking in games for some hardware. So be sure not to miss out on that. And hopefully I will see you in the next video.